Hello, it's Susan here from Komori no Hime Cosplay, and welcome back to the 20 Years of Anime series, in which we count down to the year 2020 using costumes. Today we're going to be going back to 2012 and making the Halloween version of Asuna from Sword Art Online. In today's video, we're going to be making her tie, the corset, and her tail. For Asuna's corset, we're going to be using Simplicity 1345, and we're going to be using View D. I went ahead and cut out all of the outer layer pieces out of some purple cotton. For the center of the corset, we can't see the center in the reference image because Yui's paw is covering it up, so you can design it however you'd like. I decided to take some orange sparkle ribbon and some more of the bat trim and sew it on in rows so that it would tie in the rest of the outfit. Sew the outer layer pieces together along the side seams so that we now have the outer shell of the bodice. Then I sewed a folded strip of the purple fabric to the bottom of the bodice base, making sure to leave a gap in the back so that we can turn the edge of the corset inward later on. To make the inner workings of the corset, we're going to cut all of the corset pieces out again two more times. So we have the inner layer and we have the middle layer. So we're going to match up the middle layer to the inner layer pieces and sew them together the length of the seam allowance, so 5 eighths of an inch away from the edge along the sides, the top, and back down, leaving the bottom open so we can insert the boning. And we're also going to sew lines along the corset pieces, and this is going to be the casing for our boning later on. Once the boning channels have been added to each of the pieces, we're then going to sew all of the pieces together along the side seams to create the inner portion of the bodice. Putting right sides together, we're going to sew the outer portion of the bodice to the inner portion of the bodice all along the edges, leaving the bottom open, though on the corners we are going to fold the edges upward on each side to encourage both of the edges to turn inwards. That'll make it easier when we sew it closed later on. To give the bodice more structure, I inserted strips of Ridgeland boning into the channels, and to keep the boning from coming out, I sewed along the bottom of the inner part of the bodice. To finish off the bottom edge of the inner portion of the corset, I folded the fabric inward and then whip stitched it all along the bottom so that no raw edges can be seen. I hand sewed eyelets onto either side of the back of the corset and threaded through some black grosgrain ribbon so that it can be laced closed. Now it's time to make Asuna's tie. You could use a regular tie pattern or you could purchase a pre-made orange tie and paint the bats on it. I decided I wanted to make a false tie that would just snap onto the dress for ease of wear. So I have this kind of teardrop shape is going to be the base of the tie. This piece is going to be the knot and then this is going to be the little strap to attach it to the dress. So this one is just a rectangle folded in half and we're going to sew it along the side. This one, I cut two of them and we're going to sew them along the side around the teardrop shape and back up, leaving the end open. And for the knot, we're just going to sew along each of the flatter sides. I realized after I sewed them together that the knot pieces were incorrect, so I seam ripped them back and then folded them each in half sewing them together along the bottom. Now we're going to turn them right side out and they've been pressed flat and we're going to sew them together at the sides. For this little piece, I just turned the edges inward and sewed it into place after it had been turned right side out. And now that the tie has been turned right side out, we're just going to fold the edges inward and sew them into place. Now that the knot piece is complete, we're going to assemble the tie. So we're going to fold the tie piece in half and insert it into the knot. It's a bit hard to do one-handed. And we're going to then loop the little string piece 
through and then just fiddle with it until everything is in place. I hand sewed along the back of the tie to keep all of the pieces in place. Then I also sewed on some snaps onto either side and cut apart some of the bat trim that we used earlier into individual bats and sewed them onto the tie. I sewed the corresponding snap piece to the dress to attach the tie, then tucked the excess of the tie into the corset. To make Asuna's cat tail, I made a pattern for the base tail that is about 3 inches by 26 inches with the end slightly rounded, and I used that to cut two of the tail pieces out of the black fleece, then pin them together and we're going to sew them together all along the side, around the bottom, and back up, leaving the top open. Turn the tail right side out and fill it with some polyfill. To give the tail a little more structure, I took some aluminum wire and bent the ends into a loop. The smaller loop on this end is so the end of the wire isn't poking out, and the larger loop on this end is to give us something to attach it to the corset. Insert the wire into the tail. This wire gives it a little bit more stability, but not enough for it to sit straight up like in the reference image. If you want that effect, you could use a thicker wire, or you could double up the amount of wire used. I sewed the tail closed, securing it around the wire piece, and I also sewed a bow for the end of the tail using some orange cotton, but you could use ribbon if you prefer. To attach the tail to the dress, I simply tied it to the corset using the same ribbons that are used to lace it up. And with that, we now have the base part of the costume done. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. The one part I don't like is how much the corset gaps away from the chest. Hopefully this will not be as noticeable when it's worn as the dress form is not as squishy as a human body, but in the future I may either change the positioning of the boning in the corset or perhaps use a alternative pattern. But other than that, I am quite pleased with how this turned out. For more cosplay sewing tutorial videos, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching!